you know, Carly, let's be honest. We cannot be kissed. Yeah. It doesn't matter how good your costumes are unless you have the makeup. So we called in <laughs> one of our dear friends who knew, yes. who definitely would be up to the challenge. Of course, I'm talking about Sarah Berland, once again from the Patel Conservatory. She's the mastermind behind all of this and freehand. Seriously, she said, I'd actually prefer to do it freehand because you can get stencils, I guess. <laughs> Seriously. And you said, nah. This perfection right here. Absolutely perfection. Thank, well, thank you. you. Thank you, thank you. But you know what? I'm sure there are plenty of people uh -huh. out there that have waited at the last minute. They're like, oh yeah, here we are, Halloween, my office is dressing up or my kids are and they want me to do something last minute help help what can people do absolutely well I find myself in that dilemma all the time <laughs> this is actually kind of what I did last year for my own last minute Halloween makeup as I went as a skeleton um, you get yourself a nice white base I actually used one called alabaster spread it over evenly whenever you're doing your base is this theater makeup like what do you what do people need to get like, uh, can they get this at like Walmart at this point like yes you can Walmart has a great selection of their uh, makeup supplies now okay. um, this is a little fancier okay um, but the ones at Walmart totally you can so totally water use because you use water based on I use water based on you and I use cream based on her your water based ones will stay a little bit longer if you've got young ones that like to touch their face okay. or lick their or, face or television hosts that like to touch their face <laughs> well you know <laughs> they won't melt as quickly whereas your cream based will tend to melt more quickly but if you powder it the final thing it will stay fresh longer easy Easier to apply, though you were saying, much correct? much easier, quicker. I can like a little blend. more forgiving. Okay. Yes, you notice in here I got to blend in some of the colors. I can go in with a a dark line, a sharp line, and if I'm like, whoa, that's a little too dark, then I can blend it down and create a softer look. Now, if someone's gonna do a skeleton today, last minute, how, how do you start with the lines? Like, where do you... Do you go white first? What do you do? I get a full base okay. first, and then I look for the basic structure of the face. Find your cheekbones first, go right below them, and make your shadow line as if you were doing a really like chic contour. I try to do that every day with my brush <laughs> as I'm contouring, and I usually end up looking like this yeah. too. So see, I see the similarities. And then with this, I also make sure I do a very sharp jawline. I go in and I fill in the little orbital sockets mm -hmm. with a nice dark, and then I also went in, if you'll close your eyes for me, I also went in with a yellow in the middle for like a spookier glowing skeleton. Ah. And I went with the red underneath well, I feel like Day of the Dead and like the, I mean, that's just so popular yeah. right now. Like this yeah. is such a cool last minute thing. Well, and if you decide to do this look, you can change up your colors and the basics will change over to any ghoul, witch, goblin, you're looking for like a red devil. You can go in with a red base and go in with a darker red for your shadow or even a black mm -hmm. to make it look like this. Okay. Um, this is just your basic basic look following the her basic the I don't know about uh, our basic but uh -huh. hey before well, we thank run out you of to Alex for uh, being our model as I know well. you thank look you. beautiful thank you. Thank you. <laughs> for Halloween and all uh, <laughs> talk about events you want to share real quickly yes absolutely so at the Patel Conservatory we have auditions for Dinosaurs Before Dark the musical theater adventures of uh, the Magic Treehouse series okay and that's our second through fourth grade class ages and that is on November 17th. The auditions you, are? The okay. auditions are, and nice. you can reach out to the Patel Conservatory to set up your audition date. Fun. And we also have the best Christmas pageant ever. That's the title of the play. <laughs> but I think it's pretty it. amazing, it, too. That is going to be showing uh, November 29th through December 2nd. And that's m elementary school all the way to high school kids. We'll come back so you can talk more about that. Thank Absolutely. you Thank for you. all of this. You're <laughs> awesome. Absolutely awesome. And we did sit better yeah. than our uh, the second and fourth <laughs> graders. Carly and I did. Barely. <laughs>